Hey everyone, this is your boy Jam Bones back. I've been going because I was kind of I was sick and things like that. I couldn't go, do this uh, finale episode um yesterday because it was my birthday, so I wasn't to do. I was you know out and stuff. But so let for me to go. Let me go back to the first um a, a, not the last episode I didn't do. So that I'm gonna just cap it off into the one part that really mattered that made this shit fucking amazing. Which was the fight between All Might and the fucking fucking beast bird beat thing, the fucking Nomu, I think it is. That shit was amazing. Like the way as soon as it like went into that mode, like when he came in it was fucking everyone up, it was cool. Like of course you expect him to fuck all the weak shit up, cause they all the weak shit, you know? That's All Might. So then as soon as he comes in and he starts like really, really fighting the thing, not the suplex part. Or a part where he's punching it and nothing was happening. The part where like the camera zoomed in on them two and they was just punching back and forth and it was just so fast that that part had me so hyped. I was I was watching it. I was I was it was nail biters. They were nail biters moments right there. Like and I was so into it because that part was so fucking legit. That that was by far the most amazing part, which made the episode a ten at that point. But we come back into this episode. And it shows um, All Might there, just standing there and um, trying to make a bluff, trying to make it seem as though he can move still, when you know he can't, cause since he's so weak. And then you have to add in that the guy, that the thing put his nails into the, um, the spot where he had the um, scar at. So yeah, so he was so weak and destroyed, like, and he still managed to like hit him with the ultimate, you know, sure you can. You feel, he hit, he hit him so hard he flew out the place. So that right there took everything out of him. So that's why he was just standing there. He was trying to make a bluff, giving him, you know, the um the glare when he when he shows into his eyes and they're like blue and stuff, and it looks like and he look, and he looks evil as fuck. That's what he was doing, so he could try um try to scare them, which was probably his best thing to do. But which was working for the guy because he was there like, oh shit, like oh he's he's actually strong, you know, scratching the fuck out of his neck like he's on you know crack or something. So we so you seen him getting scared and the fucking like um. The, the, I don't, what's it called, the, um, warp, the warp guy, yeah, the warp guy was there, and he was just calling me, he's like, like, yeah, listen, he, he after, he's bluffing and stuff, and he's telling him that, he's like, oh, we can still get him, because he is weak after that, because of, like, look at what he did, you know, but we did learn how strong All Might really is, because that, the fact that he pulled that off, after already going over his time limit, after already being kind of weakened, after being weakened in general, he even said, he was like, Back then, all all it took back in my prime would be five punches compared to 300 punches. And to think that he actually threw 300 punches that fast was just crazy. So, you got to think about how really strong he is. Not not only is he also getting weak and stuff, he also gave his power to um to Zuna, I think. Yeah, Zuna, I think. Midoriya. Yeah, so he, he has all that power he has taken away from him, and he still has has the power to do something of that caliber. You know, that's that, that shows... How fucking amazing All Might is, and it shows how strong he could be once he gives all his powers up, you know. So we see him standing there, and um, they they find out, then they go to get him. Then you know, my my, my boy comes in, he he breaks his legs. Which I don't know why they went back to him breaking his legs. I was, I'm sorry guys, this 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 little nigga came in. Yeah, I'm sorry, but so he he came and tried to save him, broke his legs and stuff. Which is gay, cause I was hoping that he would just, you know, be done and like finally be able to fully control, finally be able to, finally be able to control it. And so, which, which is apparently he can. I guess it was a one-time thing, cause he really, I don't know what it is. I think he, he really did need it at that when he first punched it, but then again, you could say he really needed it when he went in to save All Might. So I don't know why only that one time. Maybe he can only control that move once maybe a day but uh I, I hopefully when the second season comes which was confirmed at the end that, that he'll be able to control it but as soon as we seen him which is it was pretty cool because you didn't think that there was anyone well you did when you when he came in and the guy's hand was about to get him you seen that like it was slowly like it was getting closer and closer to him and it was so slow like slowly happening in slow motion that you know something was bound to save him which which was which is the the recruit not the recruit the reinforcements which was which was pretty cool the guy with the um the pistol 
Because it showed him shooting a pistol and a bullet was going through all, like, you know, the, the mountains and stuff. And it was hitting the nigga on target. So that shit was fucking amazing. Seeing, seeing, seeing all the, the pro heroes use their moves was actually just amazing in general. It shows you how, how much cooler they are than, than the new people. The new, the new class that, um, that the main character is in, it's, like, only, like, maybe four, maybe five cool, cool guys in there. Everyone else is just fucking trash, to be honest with you. Or, or they have this lame character designs. But other than that, it was a good episode. I mean, we've seen the principal there again. I, to be honest, I feel like he's low-key strong as fuck also. Like, he has some kind of move. He, not to be gay, but he, he's a really cute-ass animal. But you would assume that he's not a principal off him being cute as fuck, you know? So I'm guessing that he is probably strong. Probably strong as fuck, to be honest. But we've seen that no one died, which is... Crazy, cause I I was really thinking that uh, my my boy Racerhead was gonna die, cause he got fucking destroyed. Like his arm, first it was broke, and then like you seen like we didn't see nothing but like really like bare meat. Like we didn't see no skin or nothing. It was just his meat there, everything. He he got he played his part as a hero, and really went all out for the um for the students, which he had to give him his props. If anyone deserved a props from from this whole thing, it's him. Even though All Might did go all out, but for for Racerhead to, to do what he did at the strength that he has, because he doesn't have the power that All Might has. He never did. And for him to really try to fight all those guys and, and even the big-ass uh, beast thing, for him to do that and try to save the kids at the same time, which was fucking appreh apprehendable. Yes, you got to use some big words. Apprehendable. You know, I don't know if I used it right, but you know what I'm trying to say. You got to acknowledge that he actually went all out for them fucking kids, you know? And that he had, I don't know. It's, I think he said that fractured, he fractured his face also, or some shit like that. Because at the end, you see a lot of bandages around his face still. So. That even proves how much more he got fucked up. Because he was slamming his face into the thing, so yeah, that does make sense. But every, apparently everyone's good. 13 was, it was kind of gay because they showed 13 out of his costume. They didn't show him how he really looked. But I'm, 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 I think he's skinny, to be honest, since his costume's so fat. Because... And anime's weird like that. Just like how they had the fucking one, the one the cop thing was like a fucking cat and shit, and how the principal's a fucking whatever, whatever the hell he is. I don't know what the fuck it is. I uh, I don't know. I can't think. A mouse? A mouse. That's what he looks like. A fucking mouse. But yeah, overall, it was a good episode. They they confirmed the fuck out of season two. You know that. Like at the end, it was like season two, and then after it said season two, it showed more things. And then at the end of that, it says season two again. Like they really wanted everyone to know that there's going to be a season two, which which will be good. Um, so I, I was thinking about reading the manga for it, but hopefully, if season two comes fast, not like like Attack on Titan, which fucking takes forever. So it'll probably come next year. I would I would hope it would come faster, but it it doesn't. It's not that fast for um you know seasons to come out. So when that comes out, I'll just wait for it and watch it. But Overall, the, the, this anime's first season ended pretty fucking amazing. It was definitely a 10 out of 10. Hopefully, Naruto won't be on a break either, so I can go back to that. But overall, it was a um, it was a pretty good episode. I nah, I don't want to give it a 10. Probably probably eight. The, that, the episode 12 was so good because the fight. And this one wasn't much fighting, but it was because it was it was really just you know calming everything down after the, everything was done. So it was a pretty good episode. But um, I'll see you guys on Thursday on uh, for the new Naruto episode when it's back. All right.